Welcome to the world of table settings. A well-set table is not just a mere place to put your food. It transforms into a canvas for conversation, connection and culinary delight. The value of table settings is immeasurable. They lay the foundation for the meal and create a warm atmosphere that fosters interaction and enjoyment. Whether it's a laid-back family dinner or a sophisticated five-course feast, the way a table is set can amplify the dining experience and bring about a sense of unity. This video, we are going to delve into four classic table settings that every host should be familiar with. So, let's kickstart our journey without wasting any more time. First off, we have the casual family dinner setting. This is the table setting you'll likely use the most, so it's important to get it right. Picture this. It's a regular Tuesday evening, and you've just finished preparing dinner. The table beckons the perfect stage for the evening's comfort and camaraderie. But what makes this casual setting so special? Well, simplicity is key. A casual dinner setting doesn't need to be extravagant or over the top. It's all about comfort and functionality. For this setting, you'll need dinner plates, forks, knives and spoons, not forgetting the glasses for your favourite beverage. The dinner plate takes centre stage, with the fork to its left and the knife and spoon to its right. The glass sits just above the knife and spoon. Now remember, this isn't a fancy dinner party, so feel free to forego the tablecloth and use placemats instead. They're practical, easy to clean and add a bit of colour and personality to the table. And napkins, just fold them neatly and place them on the dinner plates. What about the centrepiece? Well, a casual dinner setting lends itself well to creative freedom. A simple vase of fresh flowers, a bowl of fruit or even a collection of candles can serve as the perfect centrepiece. You see, a casual family dinner setting is all about creating a relaxed and comfortable atmosphere. It's about setting the stage for those heartwarming moments where the food is abundant, the laughter is infectious and the conversations flow freely. It's about creating a sense of togetherness, a space where everyone feels at home. So next time you're setting the table for dinner, remember these simple steps. It's not about perfection, but about creating a warm and inviting space for your family to gather and share their day. Remember, the goal here is to create a warm and welcoming space where your family can gather and share their day. Next, we turn to the grandeur of the formal dinner setting. This is your chance to impress and create a night to remember. With its intricate arrangement and elegant details, a formal dinner setting is a testament to the art of dining. It's a ballet of silverware, glassware and china, carefully choreographed to enhance the dining experience. At the heart of the setting is the charger plate. This large, decorative dish serves as the foundation for the table setting. It is the stage upon which the rest of the dinnerware performs. On top of the charger, you'll place the dinner plate, and on top of that, the soup bowl if you're serving soup as a first course. To the left of these, you'll find the forks. The dinner fork is closest to the plate, with the salad fork on its left. If you're serving fish, the fish fork would be furthest to the left. On the right side, you'll find the knives and spoons. Closest to the plate is the dinner knife, followed by the soup spoon and then the teaspoon. If you're serving fish, the fish knife would be next to the dinner knife. Above the forks, you'll find the bread plate and butter knife. To the right of the dinner plate and above the knives, you'll place the water glass, wine glass and champagne flute in that order from left to right. Finally, the dessert spoon and fork are placed horizontally above the dinner plate, with the spoon on top and the fork below. These are the last utensils to enter the dance, joining in when it's time for the sweet finale. The beauty of the formal dinner setting lies not just in its aesthetic appeal, but also in its practicality. Each piece has a purpose, each placement a reason. It's a language of hospitality, spoken in porcelain and silver, crystal and linen. A formal dinner setting speaks volumes about your attention to detail and your commitment to creating an unforgettable dining experience. It tells your guests that you have taken the time to consider their comfort and enjoyment and that you value their company. It's more than just a way to serve food, it's a way to serve up a memorable night of fine dining. Now let's venture into the realm of the buffet setting, perfect for larger gatherings and parties. A buffet setting, my dear friends, is a marvel of practicality and elegance. 
It's a layout that allows guests to serve themselves, and it's the perfect solution when you have more guests than seats at the table. Let's explore the layout of a typical buffet setting, shall we? At the start of the line, you'll find the plates. They're the first thing a guest will need, after all. Then comes the main course dishes, followed by sides, salads, and so on. It's a logical sequence, you see, designed to guide guests smoothly along the buffet line. Now on to cutlery. Instead of setting it on the table, consider placing it at the end of the buffet line. Why, you ask? Well, it's a simple matter of convenience. It's much easier for guests to grab the cutlery once their plates are full, rather than juggling it while they serve themselves. Serving dishes, my friends, are the stars of the buffet setting. They should be large enough to hold generous amounts of food, but not so heavy that they're difficult to handle. And of course, they should be arranged in a way that's easy for guests to access. Let's not forget about drinks. It's often a good idea to set up a separate station for beverages to avoid congestion at the buffet line. This way, guests can help themselves to drinks before, during or after their meal at their own leisure. One of the true beauties of the buffet setting is its flexibility. You can adapt it to fit your space, your guest list and your menu. You can go as casual or as formal as you like. It's all about creating an inviting and efficient space for your guests to enjoy their meal. A well-organized buffet setting not only adds to the visual appeal, but also makes serving and dining a breeze. So the next time you're hosting a large gathering, consider the buffet setting. It's a classic, elegant and practical choice that is sure to impress your guests. Lastly, we have the holiday table setting, a chance to infuse your table with festive spirit. Holidays are a time of joy and celebration, and your table setting should reflect that. It's not just about the food on the table, but the table itself. Start with a centerpiece that sets the tone for the occasion. It could be a traditional one like a Christmas wreath or an Easter decor piece, or something more personal and unique. The centerpiece should be a conversation starter, something that sparks interest and adds a touch of magic to the table. Then there are the napkin rings, these little accents can make a big difference. They are the jewellery of your table setting, adding a touch of elegance and sophistication. You can go with holiday-themed napkin rings or choose something in line with your colour scheme. Speaking of colour schemes, they are essential in a holiday table setting. The colours you choose can enhance the festive mood. For Christmas, you might go with a traditional red and green or perhaps a more modern silver and gold. For Thanksgiving, warm earth tones can make the table feel cosy and inviting. The key is to choose colours that complement each other and the overall theme of your holiday celebration. And lastly, don't forget to add a personal touch. Maybe it's a family heirloom passed down through generations or a handmade decoration by your children. The best holiday table settings are the ones that tell a story, your story. Remember, a holiday table setting is all about celebrating tradition, creating a festive atmosphere and making your loved ones feel special. It's about bringing people together, sharing good food and good company and creating memories that will last a lifetime. So go ahead. Get creative with your holiday table setting and let it be a reflection of your own unique style and spirit. So there you have it. Four classic table settings every host should know. We began our journey with the casual family dinner setting, creating a relaxed and inviting atmosphere for loved ones to gather. We then delved into the elegance and sophistication of a formal dinner setting, demonstrating the power of a well-set table in elevating the dining experience. Next, we explored the buffet setting, a versatile layout designed to cater to larger gatherings with ease. And finally, we celebrated the festive spirit with a holiday table setting, capturing the joy and togetherness that comes with special occasions. Across each setting, we've seen how attention to detail, from the placement of cutlery to the choice of centerpiece, can foster connection and make any meal feel special. Moreover, a well-set table extends an unspoken welcome, setting the stage for memorable conversations and shared experiences. Now it's your turn to try setting your own table. And as we approach the end of this video, let's take a moment to reflect on the essence of our journey. Remember, setting a table is more than just an arrangement of plates, glasses and silverware. It's an art, a form of expression and an opportunity to create an environment that encourages connection, conversation and celebration. 
It's about making your guests feel special, cared for, and welcome. Whether it's a casual family dinner setting, a formal dinner setting, a buffet, or a holiday table setting, each layout tells a story, your story. So as you roll up your sleeves to create your unique table setting, remember, perfection isn't the goal. It's about the effort you put in, the creativity you showcase, and the memories you create around the table. So don't be afraid to experiment, to mix and match, to add your personal touch. Maybe you'll create a new tradition, or perhaps you'll find joy in the simplicity of a well-set table. Either way, we can't wait to see what you come up with. Remember, every meal is an opportunity to create something beautiful, to share a moment with loved ones, and to make lasting memories. Before we wrap up, if you found this video helpful, please show us some love and hit that thumbs up button. It's a small action for you, but it means a world to us. If you haven't subscribed yet, we invite you to do so now. By subscribing, you will not only support us, but you will also ensure that you don't miss out on any of our future videos. So subscribe, share and keep the comments coming. We love hearing from you. Thank you for being part of our creative journey and until next time, happy hosting.